Hi there, this is Jen Kitzmiller. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Missoula, and we wanted to provide you some highlights for the early season winter storm this weekend. So the first phase is for Friday, Friday night into Saturday. This is when we're expecting high elevation, heavy wet snow to develop. So conditions in the backcountry will really begin to deteriorate in this time frame. Um, with Mariah's Pass, um, possibly seeing some travel impacts due to the heavy wet snow. For valleys, at this point, we're expecting them to mainly remain as, as rain. Um, however, we will see some strong gusty winds developing from the northeast to the east with the strongest winds expected across northwest Montana through the Flathead Valley and maybe over Flathead Lake where we could see wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour. As we move into phase two, Saturday night into Sunday, that's when snow levels will lower into the valley locations and we are expecting some light accumulations to occur for most areas. Um, as far as roadways go, we may not see a lot of accumulation, however, for grassy surfaces and the trees, we could see some accumulations that could cause some issues for tree branches and maybe power lines. Then phase three, as the snow moves out on Monday and Tuesday, we'll be left with an abnormally cold air mass. Um, so we're going to be looking at overnight lows in the 20s, maybe even some teens along the Continental Divide. So a hard freeze, which could cause some issues for irrigation systems. And it also may allow for melting snow to freeze on roadways and, and cause some difficult travel at times. So a summary of our concerns, the dangerous backcountry conditions is a big one. Um, there is that potential to see damage to trees and power lines, as well as docks on Flathead Lake. As those strong winds move in, we could see some large waves develop on the lake there. Um, travel impacts, particularly over the mountain passes along the Continental Divide. Um, Conditions are going to be difficult for livestock due to the cold, wet rain transitioning to snow and wind. And then there's that potential to see some irrigation damage due to the hard freeze going into next week. So continue to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and we will keep you up to date as we get closer to the storm.